جوال مجددا رجعت لكم من البريك مشاهدينا برحب فيكم بهالصباح المشرك بيسعدني بهالفكره رحب بدكتور مونيكا تسيكا مديره المركز الثقافي الايطالي والملحق الثقافي في السفاره الايطاليه في لبنان جود مورنينغ Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Come sta Dr. Monica Zecca, director of the Italian Cultural Institute in Lebanon and the cultural attaché of the Italian Embassy to Lebanon? Molto bene, grazie. Thank you very much for hosting me this morning. And uh, let's have a little talk about uh, First, uh, the Institute. Si. Uh, first, please allow me to uh, tell you it's our great uh, honor in Mariam TV platform uh, to hosting you, Dr. Uh, Tseka. And as we say, the Italian language uh, is a kind of singing and uh, listening uh, to the harmonious uh, uh, tonality of the language. What can you tell us and what's the secret? You always uh, uh, smile as Italian uh, people. <laughs> Look, thank you very much. It's my pleasure for to, 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 to be here and uh, to talk to you this morning. Um, the secret of Italian language, this is uh, <laughs> something that uh, it has with all, uh, be always following me during this year. And um, I don't know it, actually, since I'm a native. I, I cannot understand, but I know that uh, Italian must have some sort of, uh, has definitely some sort of musicality of, uh, of uh, sound that is um, somehow enchanting. Uh, Italian um, has got many faces also as a language. It's also the language, it's, it is the language of music, but mm -hmm. uh, it has become uh, the language of uh, art. It has become a language for uh, fashion uh, and uh, and design for many things. Uh, it has uh, many different aspects uh, for uh, so the, the uh, musicality, but also a, a, re a, a, a grab in uh, in nowadays uh, reality and its interests. And uh, so we can say, to say the least, it's uh, the mixture of uh, music, uh, a high patrimony and identity, uh, going to fashion, and uh, let's not forget uh, the architectural facade uh, that are uh, skyrocketing amazingly, very beautiful in uh, Italy. Yes, absolutely, and these, uh, these are some of our uh, treasures as, uh, as a nation. And uh, these are, uh, these are uh, some of our attractives for uh, people coming mm, to see Italy, but so many times, uh, and uh, I'm saying this also because in Lebanon there is a very strong uh, uh, interest for uh, Italy as a place where to study. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, uh, the in terms of architectural uh, interest or... Uh, Interior design. Uh, design, exactly, and uh, but also for uh, other uh, kind of um, branches Majors. of the knowledge. Instituto Italiano di Cultura, uh, you're very active, and uh, in your capacity as director of this uh, Instituto, what can you tell us? Uh, because your activities are uh, very, very important, and uh, we all know uh, that uh, the efforts exerted in this regard uh, have been deployed uh, in a very big, uh, on a very big uh, scale or scope, especially in Corona times. Uh, what can you tell us? Uh, when was uh, the Instituto di Cultura established, the mission, and so on? Okay. Uh, <laughs> corona time has been, a, a, has been, and it still is a very hard time for uh, everybody. Uh, we managed somehow as everybody <coughs> did to keep going. Uh, the Italian Institute uh, was founded in uh, 1952 in, uh, in Lebanon. Uh, the Italian institutes are uh, sort of more than uh, 80 all around the world uh, and they act uh, as uh, cultural offices, cultural branches of the minister. Ministry for Foreign Affairs, the Italian Ministry for Foreign Affairs. So this is uh, <coughs> why we are part of the embassy and uh, and so on. In Lebanon, we are here from uh, 52. We never stopped uh, our uh, mission and our action. Mm -hmm. And during the civil war, there was uh, another uh, 
section, another branch was open in uh, Zuk Mikhail for uh, the, the, the <coughs> separation. But they never, we never closed, uh, and uh, of course we never stopped in, the, in Corona as well. What do we do? Wow. Uh, What's a lot. the secret? Uh, you did not stop, or you haven't uh, stopped in Corona times. What's the secret? Because this you passion can to convey the identity. Because it's a, it's a challenge. It's a challenge, and uh, you must answer to challenge. And uh, in Lebanon, Corona time, it was not only Corona time. In Lebanon was also the time uh, <laughs> where we had uh, the major blast. Uh, and, uh, and there are many problems. And this is the time to be here and fight and help and uh, understand um, this is not a, a time to close. Absolutely not. <laughs> we have to be present uh, with our uh, friends. Definitely. And uh, so mm, the Institute uh, has uh, a sort of uh, mm, uh, two branches, two main branches of activity. One is dedicated to the language mm -hmm. and uh, with courses, with uh, upgrading uh, seminars <laughs> for teachers, uh, with uh, linguistic um, aspect. Mm, yes, the all like, this kind of, and uh, in this uh, for the in this branch uh, we have a sort of uh, um, a lot of uh, relationship and partnership with the uh, Lebanese institution like the um, the Center for uh, Research and uh, Development uh, mm -hmm. or Pedagogic, the CERDP. In universities, uh, you mean or? Uh uh, other institutes. Also, in f with the SRDP, we have um, a collaboration which is uh, 20 years old now for the presence of Italian language in uh, public schools. Mm -hmm. And uh, with Molto university, bene. we have uh, a lot of um, collaborations and, uh, and partnership with uh, many of them. First of all, the, the, the Lebanese University, of course, which is the public one. And, uh, and then with the several uh, and private universities. And as we have seen that uh, you have already made or uh, arranged some workshops, uh, uh, design d'intérieur pour le commerce et de détail, interaction spatiale avec uh, with university, Lebanese University. And uh, you have done a conference with UL Architecture et design écologique dans le détail, la durabilité, comment la gérer. Uh, among other workshop in USEC, uh, design or detail et conviviabilité durable, conviviality durable, excusez moi, interaction avec les gens. Uh, you are always uh, moving forward and uh, uh, collaborating with universities in Lebanon and trying to make this exchange of students between Italy and Lebanon, or to say the least, uh, get some scholarship programs for uh, Lebanese students. What can you tell yes, us? Yes, yes, that's something that happens every year. There is a scholarship program launched by the Ministry for uh, Foreign Affairs, and uh, which offers uh, um, scholarship for studying uh, at universities in Italy. Okay. Every year we have several uh, applicants, many applicants, I must say, and uh, every year there are uh, many able to go and study to Italy for with uh, with one of our uh, scholarship and this is uh, there and apart they from must the be lucky Dr. Zeka. they must <laughs> be they must be willing they must have a, a, a vision a plan a, a project that is mm -hmm. what we uh, promote with what we encourage what we support uh, yeah, mm, see. And uh, what can you tell us about uh, the SOL Festival? SOL? SOL, SOL. Semaine yeah. de Log This is one of the festivals is very dear to me uh, because uh, I had started in uh, another country to, to support it when I was in, uh, in Greece. So I, I got in touch with the SOL Festival. And uh, we keep uh, working with them, but as we, we, uh, we keep working, supporting uh, and uh, collaborating with music institutions uh, is uh, one of our goals, uh, amongst cultural uh, tasks that we have. Uh, Soul Festival is one of them, they always bring some Italian uh, organists. And uh, we have uh, uh, an important collaboration with the NDU School of Music about this, uh, because we support uh, the, the class of organ mm -hmm. 
which is organized there and who has a, which has a, an Italian uh, teacher coming every year for uh, this group and which is uh, growing uh, you will see it uh, every year last year they started having a place in the Seoul festival that's amazing uh, really we can see a lot of uh, efforts uh, exerted in this uh, regard uh, what can you tell us uh, about some other uh, festivals in uh, El Bustan well, uh, basically, we cooperate with the ma all the major festivals in, uh, in Lebanon, so Al-Bustan, Beirut Chant, uh, Baalbek. Uh, back to Bach, what can you tell us about Back to Bach? Back to Bach was uh, a nice uh, initiative <laughs> uh, with a, um, a very um, uh, active Italian musician, Luca Charla. Uh, he was uh, here uh, with the back of the back, but also he came back in um, 2019 for the Fête de la Musique, and he was playing uh, in uh, Beirut and in uh, Tripoli si. in uh, collaboration with the Dante Alighieri Association that was there and the French Institute. Cantantas and it was a great success. We can say cantantas and sinfonias. Cantante and Sinfonia. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> and uh, uh, Bach uh, and Vivaldi, what can you tell us about uh, this festival too that was held in uh, Bustan? Uh, that was uh, before I arrived to, to mm -hmm. Lebanon and uh, it's always uh, a pleasure to work with uh, Al Bustan. They have this uh, great selection of musicians uh, and uh, how can I say, as we were, uh, I was telling them, in any case, uh, with music, uh, we have a very simple game because uh, uh, with music, uh, b there is always a very strong connection with, uh, with Italy. So it's, uh, it's easy to cooperate. It's, uh, it's absolutely necessary to cooperate uh, about music. And uh, some other uh, films and movies uh, that you have promoted, what can you tell us? The promotion of the uh, cinema is one of our uh, strong uh, lines. Uh, and uh, <coughs> lately in this, uh, uh, we have been uh, working with the um, European Film Festival organized by the European uh, Commission here in Lebanon, the delegation of the European Commission. And uh, for instance, oh, in a while, uh, is starting the Cabriolet Film Festival, mm -hmm. on the, which is going to be in presence, mm -hmm. uh, screened outside, of course, on the San Nicolas Stars. And, uh, when it will uh, be held? Between the 4th and the 6th of uh, June mm -hmm. is our next uh, event. And I'm especially <laughs> glad that it's going to be in presence for uh, real. Not Finally. Finally. Yes, yes, Finally. we do need. Uh, online has been, uh, and it is still a great uh, help, a great uh, way of uh, keeping communication. Exactly. But once in a while, something uh, in presence, it's <laughs> exactly. really uh, a relief. Uh, we, are, we are tired of uh, Corona, Dr. Tseka, indeed. Everybody's tired, and uh, we, ne we need to see each other again. Yes, we absolutely do need uh, to see each other again and uh, can be, it is different, it's much more emotional, you are much more involved. Uh, we are going uh, to have uh, something else uh, which I, I really like uh, in a while, uh, in presence. Uh, uh, in December, in one of the few moments that we it would still possible to have something in presence with very strict rules of uh, of uh, distancing and so on but we were able to put on the scene uh, il popolo libanese fischiato which is uh, the the libanese people whistled uh, that would be the translation uh, short, uh, uh, an, uh, a small work uh, in uh, written in Italian uh, by s Italian students uh, uh, in the mm, in the region of uh, Sarba um, of Nabatie, so from the, the south, where we have some uh, courses in uh, with the municipality, uh, and I decided to put this. Uh, it became it started as a, as a tale, and it became a theater. And uh, we had it in uh, Mono for the first time uh, with dance and uh, sing and uh, 
and it was very, very impressive and very emotional, actually. And we are going on the 19th, we should be able to bring it back uh, uh, in Sarba Nabatiev uh, finally, and we hope to as soon as the um, as the pandemic is uh, leaving us some uh, liberty to bring it around uh, Lebanon because it's a uh, it's a it's message of hope from the the youth which is uh, very very important uh, this is uh, very important uh, what you are doing uh, objectives uh, missions uh, and uh, all uh, uh, the uh, steps uh, taken uh, by the Instituto di Cultura. Uh, who are the party with whom you are dealing, uh, local and international, or uh, any NGOs that you are collaborating with? Uh, we are. Uh, we usually collaborate with uh, all many. Mm, all I would say all the public and the, the institutions that. Are in Lebanon, that is our uh, protocol, I would say, mm -hmm. but also a lot of uh, private organizations uh, and uh, for different and uh, and institutions for different reasons. For instance, uh, we are uh, um, planning to have an exhibition uh, uh, from Italy with flag, which is uh, a sign of uh, solidarity to be together with Lebanon. At the moment, uh, we mm, just mm, are having uh, one flag uh, at um, uh, Station Nation, uh, which is in uh, Jemais, and it's a, it's a point of uh, solidarity and exchange for uh, people after the, the blast. And there is the Italian Agency for Cooperation, which is the, the one who is uh, really working with the embassy for uh, cooperating uh, and the uh, ONG all around. A few days ago, there was uh, our uh, uh, deputy minister for uh, foreign affairs in Beirut, and she was signing uh, several important uh, agreements uh, about uh, restoration of Sursuk and uh, about uh, some uh, cooperation uh, programs uh, that are going to be done, uh, the train uh, station and, uh, and so on. We cooperate, th our cooperation is very much defined by culture. Uh, we are going to launch a restoration uh, plan for objects which were uh, damaged by the, the blast uh, in cooperation with the University of Urbino and uh, USEC. And um, ah, there is, we are uh, supporting also, we gave them a, a nice um, small project, but sometimes things are also a sign, they are a symbol of, uh, of something. There is a World Youth Orchestra, which uh, came in uh, 2019 in, uh, to the um, Albustan Festival. Uh, who has come back uh, with the project. Uh, they are uh, teaching online, uh, small at the moment, a group of uh, um, students uh, who could not uh, uh, follow their studies in, uh, in music and violin uh, but, uh, because of economical and, uh, and the diff different reasons anyway. So they are uh, teaching them and th this project is going on for one year and we are very, very happy to, to support it and to, to spread the news, to give some uh, You are spreading uh, a lot of positivity, a lot of uh, efforts and uh, for all the support that you are providing uh, Dr. Zaka, directly or uh, indirectly, how do you feel? I feel is my is my work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is why, why I'm the, I feel that this is uh, this the is beauty of, duty. of this job. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that this is the pleasure of this uh, job, and this is uh, a duty as mm -hmm. well. Uh, is um, is what uh, we are supposed to do, and uh, in any in any case, in any situation, and especially in when situations are uh, more. Uh, complicated or difficult, that is where uh, it's really worth uh, keep going. Dr. Monica Zeka for a great uh, and a fruitful uh, journey.
for uh, a better and very, very fruitful journey, especially in times of Corona before uh, we finish uh, from uh, the pandemic. Uh, uh, I wish you best of luck and uh, let's, Thank you very uh, much. we hope uh, to meet you again in our uh, platforms of Mariam TV. It was a great honor hosting you uh, today. It was a honor and a pleasure for me coming the, and uh, spending this time with you. Thank you. Thanks to you. Muchas uh, uh, grazie mille. <laughs> <laughs> grazie a voi. <laughs> Thank you. مشاهدينا بريك ومنرجع لكم